Hello, everyone. I'm pleased to be talking today with Gretchen Alarcon from ServiceNow about the frictionless enterprise and specifically about the topic of frictionless HR. Welcome to the series of discussions, Gretchen. Hi, Felicia. Thanks for having me. So I'd like to jump right in by addressing some why can't we questions. First, why can't people have the same kind of interaction with their employers that they experience outside of work? Shouldn't good customer service principles apply here too? Well, I mean, they should, and in fact, they can. There's no reason why we can't all have frictionless experiences at work, just as we do in other areas of our lives. And that's why ServiceNow has partnered with Capgemini. That's right. Digital employee operations powered by ServiceNow gives people a single, simple, and frictionless route to the information that they need and how they interact with it. Uh, they can use a, any device that they want. They can self-serve or seek direct help from an HR team member. They can get HR information that they need securely, how and when they want it. And it makes the whole process natural and approachable, which is key. If it feels awkward and the outcomes aren't as expected, people will abandon it. What's more, we can't assume that everyone's needs and expectations are the same. So the service needs to be personalized. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. That's why sentiment analysis is, is increasing and it's being used in the market, um, which enables companies to tailor and enhance their responses. I also think it's why we're seeing an increased need for voice technology. So busy people can interact swiftly and securely with self-service systems while using natural language processing. I totally agree with that. Thanks for your input on that one, Gretchen. So um, much of the process that we see in the world is because people have asked questions that begin with, why can't we? So here's another one. Why can't we remove barriers, not just within HR, but between HR and other business related functions too? I think that's a completely reasonable question because when employees get in touch with HR about issues, it's highly likely that their questions will extend beyond one department. For example, a calendar lookup might lead to requesting time off or a question about payroll might lead to looking up your retirement account, for example. So in either of these cases, input is going to be needed, not just from HR, but from various finance and administrative department functions. So to keep everything simple, natural and approachable, all of these need to be available from the same point of access through a single pane of glass. Right, and that single pane of glass can vary depending on the person's preferences and whereabouts. So the next why can't we question here is one of interoperability. Some people default to laptops, others to mobile devices, others to collaborative apps, and some switch between them. HR services need to cater to all these needs seamlessly. So if someone is taking an online learning and development course, the system needs to be able to remember the stage that they reached on their mobile device so that they can pick it at that same point later, because that's what, what we do at home with Netflix. Um, why can't we do the same thing at work? Exactly. And you should need to, be, to switch applications to get the answers that you need. Let's say someone needs help with their password. Ownership of that process might rest in HR, or it might be the IT department. It's the system that ought to know the right answer here, not the employee. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Gretchen. That's very insightful. So when it comes to why can't we questions, such as why can't people have the same type of interaction with their employers that they experience outside of work, or why can't we have frictionless HR, What's implicit in the answers is the need to remove roadblocks and business processes. Would you say that that's right? Definitely. And it also requires bringing more intelligence into the systems that drive them. Ultimately, the route needs to be single, simple, and frictionless. And that's why Capgemini's frictionless enterprise is something we're really invested in at ServiceNow. The approach dynamically adapts to the circumstances of individual organizations and addresses each and every point of potential operational friction, whether that's between departments, functions, applications, data sources, devices, or something, all, all, something else altogether. I couldn't have said that one better myself. 
And the result is something that works the way employees instinctively expect to work. Which gets me so excited. I love living at that interaction between people and technology and building processes that transform HR and the employee experience with digital workflows. So that idea really resonates for me. That's great to hear. So thanks again for your time today, Gretchen. It was lovely speaking with you. Thanks so much.